He's not the public health authority, but the governor has maintained her special powers give her the authorization to task her legal counsel, Haig Hyun, to negotiate procurement for COVID-19. Lieutenant Governor Josh Chinorio a week ago said there's some red flags with the Packstar procurement as a quarantine isolation facility. Today, he told KUAM. I think that was proper critique about what happened uh, in this transaction. And since then, uh, my expectation is that uh, the folks at um, the, all the people with the internal controls at Department of Administration, at the AG's office at GSA, uh, would continue to do their job. Uh, and then in this transaction, uh, basically find a path to make sure that the, that the uh, promise, I guess, to the vendor, because the services have been rendered, are going to be made and then they find the proper path for them to be compensated. As we reported, questions were also raised about the possible misuse of public health authority and public health director Linda and Pinko DeNorsi's digital signature on a document designating the PAC star as a quarantine isolation facility. During an oversight hearing Friday, she told senators that although local law gives her special powers under a public health emergency, she hasn't been involved in COVID procurement. DeNorsi told Senator, she couldn't recall the call when it came to authorizing her digital signature. I wasn't involved in the call, but she's the only one that would have, you know, received the call. If she didn't re recall, then she didn't recall. I I would always continue to trust that with her. And it's not just the Packstar procurement raising concerns, but a contingent of cabinet members, directors, and deputies staffing the facility all of whom are getting 15% differential pay as part of the governor's COVID-19 response pay policy. Do you think, though, that, that that was the right decision to put all these directors and deputy directors? I mean, you have almost the entire cabinet up there working. I mean, and well, DYA director and DYA deputy director, like, don't they have a correctional facility for youth to be running? I'll have to find out, Bree. Well, it it sounds like that wasn't really your call, LT. <laughs> no, it's not. But, uh, you know, maybe what I'd say is those are the first people that will be able to uh, be assigned immediately, understanding there's risk and not wanting to risk others. But, you know, we're... I'll have to get more visibility on that. As for the issue of double pay, the lieutenant governor said they are doing their best to give essential employees their proper compensation. Additionally, discussions are still underway on an alternate shelter for the island's homeless population. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Sabrina Salas, Matanani.